Welcome back to Besiege. It's been a while since I last played this game, but I wanted to come back to it because they updated the game again. I will be honest, I was kind of waiting for Besiege to be updated again before I played it again, but the next update took a lot longer than I thought it would to uh, come out. It's already been like almost two and a half months, or I think it has been two and a half months, since I uploaded the last episode of Besiege, and the new update only came out like a few days ago. But I wanted to review it because they added some new maps in this update. They added a new sandbox map, uh, two new sandbox maps actually, and I want to show you guys them. Now before I get to reviewing the new sandbox maps, I should mention that this is actually my second time trying to record this video. Because the first time I tried to record this, the video ended up going off sync. And it's kind of weird, because it seems like when I'm trying to record the new sandbox map, the one that I'm currently playing, the video goes off sync, but when I try to play the old sandbox map, it doesn't go off sync whatsoever. But I still wanted to show the new sandbox map, so if this video does end up going off sync, I'm gonna try my best to fix it. So, hopefully it won't be that noticeable to you guys, but it might still be, because, you know, I'm not perfect at fixing things like that, but... Hopefully... Everything's not gonna get too screwed up in this video, and I'm gonna try this again here. So here is the new sandbox map, guys. So as you can see, we got a few structures right here, got some floating rocks over there, and it looks like we're in space. I see what appears to be either another planet or a moon over there. We've got some shooting stars, got some floating cubes up in the sky. <laughs> Especially this one right here, like there's a gigantic floating cube right there. Got some cube structures over there that are just moving around. And behind me, got some villages, as you can see. We also have statues of some of the enemies in the game. And we have another village over there, with some tents, and another village on top of that mountain. So, there's a little bit of stuff for us to do, and also there's like a giant sword over there. So, a lot of stuff that we could potentially destroy, and also some bombs. But of course, we're not just going to be exploring the new sandbox maps, we will also be reviewing some new creations. Now these are actually creations I wanted to review in the last part, but I didn't want the video to get too long, so I decided to just save them for this part. This creation is the Realistic 4x4, and, well, it's a 4x4. <laughs> That's pretty much all there is to say about it. So, how about we go and drive it around and try and, uh, explore the, uh, sandbox map right here. So yeah, we also have some sheep. So we can back this thing up, and we can also make the wheels turn. So we can just steer like this. This thing can also drift pretty well, I, I would say. So, need to make sure not to turn the wheels too much, though, because then the wheels are gonna, are gonna break. We also have some new kinds of enemies right here. And, okay, they're just destroying their own tents now. Okay, how you doing, guys? Um... But yeah, we have some new enemies here, it seems. Got these guys with, uh, with, like, axes. Yeah, they're trying, they're trying to hit me here, but it looks like they can't. Look at this, for goodness sakes. Yeah, so it looks like these might be new enemies. I've never seen them before. Yeah, they're trying to attack my wheel right here. Look at them. Look at this guy right here. He's just, just throwing that axe at me. Or swinging the axe at me. Now they're underneath my car. But they can't stop me. I'm an unstoppable killing machine. Or, well, basically a 4x4. And not only that, but these guys are just are just very small. And, okay, yeah, they are... Did they die? Yeah, okay, I am definitely killing them. So, yeah. This is a realistic 4x4. You can just use to kill people with. And, yeah. Um, as you can see, my tires are, are going insane right now. Or my wheels. Yeah, so like I said, need to try not to turn them too much. Otherwise, this is gonna happen. Your your car is just gonna start, start breaking physics. Breaking all the laws of physics right here. I mean, look at this, for goodness sakes. What is even happening right here now? Like, my car is turning into a transformer. So then there's also this area. This area kind of looks like a graveyard right here. We have a bunch of tombstones, and there's the gigantic sword. And have a massive tombstone right here, so I guess maybe this sword belonged to some sort of, some sort of warrior. I, I don't really know, but there we go. We're just, we're just destroying his tombstone now, guys. We're destroying all the tomb zones. <laughs> Yep, this is, this is good. This is good. I don't know if we can destroy the, the big one. Doesn't look like we can. There we go. Just drive over the tombstones. Yeah, this is, this is, this is good. We're obviously great people, guys. Just destroying other people's tombstones. This is, this is good. That's just good. Oh my god, we're just... <laughs> the noises that it's making as well. Uh-oh. Uh, someone's mad. Yeah, this, this guy over here is mad. He's coming at me with his sickle, guys. Yep, he, he's mad. 
He is mad, boys, but we can just drive over him? Okay. He got, like, stuck in the wheel there for a moment. But we killed him, though. Doesn't look like anyone's even inhabiting this place over here, so we can just go and destroy their houses. There we go. Just driving over everything with the 4x4, guys. This is like an all-terrain vehicle, and I just broke the wheels again. Well, <laughs> okay, yeah, this... Yeah, for a realistic 4x4, this thing's not very realistic when it comes to the way the, the wheels work. The other sandbox map they added in this update is... Well, just a barren expanse, as it's called. And as you can see, it's completely empty. It's completely empty and lifeless. We just have some mountains, and that's pretty much all there is to see here. So we can just go around and explore the mountains. I don't know if there's, like, a invisible wall preventing us from leaving the map, but I guess we could go over here and... Wow, okay. This thing controls like it's on ice, for goodness sakes. But it looks like we just have some mountains here, and... Okay, this thing needs to stop swerving. Okay, just just go go forward like this. There. That's, that's not too bad. It's kind of veering to the left a little bit, but it's alright. So yeah, just got some mountains, and I guess we're just... We're just Exploring this place, guys. Exploring this place with our, uh, our Jeep. Our 4x4. Just having a nice little drive with, with no driver here. And, yeah, just kind of looks like this goes on forever. I don't know if there is, like, an end. But over here, there's absolutely nothing. So I guess this is a place where you could just test out vehicles. As a matter of fact, that is what it says. The purpose for this map is just to test out vehicles and whatnot, so... It's pretty much the only purpose there is to this map. I guess I could speed this up to see if, uh, to see if it does end at, at some point. Just gotta kick in the nitrous right here, but I guess... Oh, it does, actually. Do I just... Okay, yeah, there is an invisible wall preventing me from falling off, okay. Well, it doesn't appear to be a lot to see in this map. So yeah, those are the two new sandbox maps they added in this update to Besiege. So, just got some new maps that you can test your vehicles out on. Apparently got some new enemies, it seems, and just got another, uh, sandbox map here that's just completely flat, you have a few mountains and whatnot, but other than that, there's not really a whole lot to see in this place. You can just drive around in your vehicle here, I guess, but other than that, it's pretty much just a place where you can test out vehicles, and it's not really anything too special. The old sandbox map is still playable, so if you still want to go in and play that one, you can. I guess we could try driving up the mountain. Okay, well that's what happens when we try to drive up the mountain. We just flip upside down. Alright, just break the wheels then. There you go. I don't even know how that that's possible. Actually, hang on a second. If I disable invincibility, I think it just they just break off. Or 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 do they? Um Okay, I I guess they don't. I don't even know what I'm doing. My my Jeep is like having a seizure now. What what is even okay. Just, let's just go to the old sandbox map and try and review some other stuff. Alright, so back here in the old sandbox map, the next vehicle we're gonna try out here is called 8-Up. Now, apparently, this machine was designed so that it can actually clear all 30 zones in the game. Like, basically, every level that's been added in the game at this point in the single-player campaign, you can clear all of them by using just this machine right here. So we're gonna go in and see how this thing works exactly, and okay, how do I... How, how exactly do I control this thing? I need to... Hang on, I need to look at the key mappings. Okay, Z and X, left control and left shift. Okay. Let's try this out here then. Okay, so it flies around. Okay, yeah, so it kind of just floats on balloons. And left control... Oh, left control is like a water tank. Okay. Um, I want to fly... Okay, that's not where I wanted to fly. Okay, yeah, left shift is to is to drop the bomb, obviously. But I want to try and fly over there. Okay, how the heck did that thing explode? Maybe, maybe the sheep ran into it or something. I want to try flying over to that tower over there so I can destroy them, but it's kind of difficult because this thing's not exactly the easiest thing to control. How you doing? Okay, well, if they're, if they're coming to me, then... I definitely could. Okay, no, don't fly away from them, for goodness sakes. No, stop it! Stop what you're doing, for goodness sakes. You're going the wrong way! Okay, how... I really don't know how I'm supposed to control this thing. This thing just seems to go wherever the heck it wants. Oh my god, okay. Hang on a second here. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this if it's the last thing I do. Okay. Don't fly over there. Fly over that way. Is there anything, any way that I can steer this thing, or does it just go wherever the heck it wants? 
Um, okay, I guess I need to try and control this thing. Okay, well, so much for... Hang on a second, guys. Okay, well, it looks like some of them actually came over to me. Surprise. There you go. <laughs> well, I somehow... That only destroyed one of them somehow. But, uh, okay. So I guess these pads right here also, uh... Cause anything I drop from this thing to fall a lot slower as well. Okay. Well, at least I destroyed one guy, but still, that's not what I wanted to do. This thing is, like, impossible to control, for goodness sakes. What I've been trying to do is that... Okay, I didn't want to do that. I've been trying to see if I could somehow, like, drag this thing towards this castle over here. So that that way I could, I could bomb them a lot easier. That's what I've been trying to do, but... I have this enabled, like, click to drag objects, but it doesn't seem to be working for some reason. Okay, what if I, what if I, like, reload the machine? Will, will it work then? No, because it- oh my god, what the heck am I doing? Well, actually, it looks like I made it a little bit more stable by adding this piece to it. But, still, I'm- <laughs> I'm trying to fly over there, but it's not- it's still not- not exactly easy. Okay, here we go, actually. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. We're getting there. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, wait a second. Okay, drop it now. There we go. Alright, I think we killed all of them. <laughs> Alright. Well, at least- at least- at least I managed to do something. I mean, I didn't manage to, uh, destroy the tower, which is what I wanted to do, but... As long as I- I killed everyone else, then... That- that's good. That's- that's a plus in my book. It looks like everyone is, in fact, dead, so... Okay, there. <laughs> At least I managed to do it, so let's just move on to the next thing. The next creation I have here is called the Killing Saw. And from the looks of it, it just looks like a bunch of saws. So, let me look at the key mappings for this. Oh, it's all Zed. Okay. <laughs> what is this thing gonna do when I- when I start... When I start to- oh, oh, what the heck? Oh! It just- it just kinda orbits around the cube right here. Okay. Yeah, they just- they just kinda move around all over the place, but it- I can't exactly make this thing move anywhere, though. That's the only problem. But, okay, and okay, that sheep just exploded. But I mean, I guess I could kill- kill the enemies if they- if they decide to come over here. Which, I mean, I guess I could probably drag them over here. But, I do have this enabled, and this doesn't appear to work. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, whoa, hang on. I didn't- I didn't mean to set them on fire. You, come over here. Come over here and fight. Come on. Come on, jeez, it's so hard to drag these guys. Okay, yeah, come- come over here. Come on. Try and get me. Just try and kill me. Oh, oh, okay, he's actually avoiding most of the saws. Come on, saws, get him, for goodness sakes. He's just going around me. Come on here. Oh my god, what- what am I- what is this- contraption. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, one of the- one of the saws got him. Okay, bring- bring the- bring my next victim over here, please. Come on. It's so hard to drag these guys for some reason. Okay, yeah. Here comes my next victim. Wanna have a go at the saws? Uh, uh, oh, oh my goodness gracious, what am I doing? There we go, got him. There we go, now I just- just slice him up. Just slice him up. Get that thing out of- out of here now. Get that menu out of there. Alright. Well, that's the, uh, the killing saws, guys, but... It doesn't seem to be any way I can, like, drag the cube over there, maybe. Like, if this thing could actually move, that would- that would be... ...impressive, I guess, but... ...or that would be a lot better. But it doesn't look like it can. They're just stuck to the cube right here, and... ...like, the creation itself cannot move on its own, but the saws can. Okay, well, that is interesting. Okay, I... ...I don't think the saws killed him. I think something else did. Okay, okay, maybe I can drag the windmill over here. Okay, never mind, I can't. If I drag the... If I drag the buildings over here, it just, uh... Destroys them. Oh my god, what am I doing to that guy over there? He's, like, exploding in a pile of blood. Look at this, for goodness sakes. What am I doing? I'm just murdering this guy. Okay. Um, well, that's apparently what happens if I try and drag him. Yeah, I think I, like... I'm trying to, like, glitch him into the ground. Yeah, okay, well, I'm still kind of dragging him over here. Jeez, this guy has a lot of blood, for goodness sakes. Look at this. That is- that is- that is actually quite impressive. Whoa, okay. Where did that- Wait a second, where did this boulder come from? That was just rolled down there for- for no apparent reason. What the heck? Where are all these boulders here all of a sudden? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Where did you- where did you even come from? What the heck? Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore, guys. I just- hang on a second. Can I- can I bring the statue down, actually? Can I click on the statue, or is it too far away? Is it... Okay, no, maybe I can't click on the statue, actually. Hang on a second. What if I position the camera like this? 
Okay, no, it. I can't click on the statue, actually. That doesn't work. Okay. Well, those are the killing saws, guys. It'd be a lot better if this thing could actually move around, but I guess it can't. So, just remaining stationary and a bunch of saws flying around, so... Better be careful. But, <laughs> yeah, not, not really the best creation I've ever seen. So the next creation I have here is called the Perfect Cube, and once again, this is a weird one. It was once again designed to be able to complete every level in the game, all 30 Zoans, and it's a cube. Just, just a single cube. But can this thing actually move around, though? Oh yeah, it can. Oh, it has water tanks as well. Holy jeez, this, this cube can actually move around, for goodness sakes, and I think the water tank's, like, propelling it. Okay, actually, I can't really control this thing. Okay, never mind, I can control it. Um, yeah, it's a cube that's just shooting water everywhere, guys. Um, I do not understand what's happening right now. Holy jeez, I cannot control this thing. Okay, this thing is just flying. Apparently, this thing can fly to the moon. That's what the description said. And, oh my god, okay, yeah, that's what it meant when it can fly to the moon. It just glitches out. It gets erased from existence. Oh my god, okay. How would I just, I just move around a little bit? Yeah, when I try to move it, though, it starts glitching out. Like, look at this. And also, the controls are, are kind of weird, because it's like, okay, yeah, here we go. I'm going forward, going forward. Maybe I can try shooting some water at these guys. I can press left controller. Wait, how did I do this? Oh, okay, yeah, I press left shift to fly. Wait, how did I... Okay, I didn't want to reset, but... Okay, left and right. But how do I... How do I... Oh my god, why are the key mapping so tiny? I can't read that. Okay. Oh yeah, it was it was Z, right. Okay, these are like thrusters, though, and I can actually turn them off. Okay. Well, thrust myself over to these guys over, over here, or not. Oh my god, okay, this thing is like really glitchy. Okay. Thrust myself over to there, if I can move this thing around without it glitching out. Oh my god. What is this contraption? How is this even made? I, I have like no idea, but okay. Maybe try and left shift. Just move around. Okay, yeah, turning turning causes this thing to to get warped into space. Yeah, okay. You guys need to drink some more water. Wait, what the heck? Uh, how did they die? I didn't even go anywhere near them. Oh! The water is, is killing them. Oh. Yeah, it, it pushes them back, actually. Wow. That is like, that is like the the strongest fire hose in the entire world. Like, look at this, for goodness sakes. Wow. How you doing? This guy's trying to get close. Trying to get up close and personal with the cube. But it's not gonna end well for him. Yep, didn't end well for him. Okay. Yeah, so this thing just fires water, but the water can actually kill people. I don't... Okay, yeah, and there's like blood flying all over the place. Okay. That is some pretty strong water. Don't see how it could it could cause them to like to like burst into a a pile of blood, but I, I don't really know. I don't really know. That's got to be some pretty strong water here, for goodness sakes, and that is some pretty strong uh, physics breaking right there. And the last creation I'm gonna review here is a modified version of a creation that I already reviewed in the last part. You guys remember the Audi R8 that I reviewed in the last part? Well, the guy who made the Audi R8 creation recently released, or, well, I don't know if it was recently, but he released a brand new version of his Audi R8 build, which is basically a hovercraft version of the Audi R8, and it's called the Audi Hover 8. So, gonna look at the key mappings right here, okay, right and left, L and J, and you can also change the camera angle. I know that you can do that by pressing the F key. So let's go and try and fly this thing around if we possibly can. Yeah, we can change the, the view right here. All right, L and J, L, okay, how, how, how am I supposed to, to fly this thing here? Um, oh, okay, I used the arrow keys, actually. Okay, but then can I, can I make it hover somehow? I want to see if I can try, like, make this thing fly, for goodness sakes. Okay, well, I can make it do barrel rolls, apparently, but can I, I want to see if I can make this thing fly. Or I guess, or I guess maybe it doesn't, maybe it just hovers. Maybe that's, that's, that's literally all it does. Okay, don't hit the bomb. Yeah, maybe it just hovers across the ground. Okay, well, that's still cool, though, and oh, jeez, okay, I'm, like, destroying this thing already. All right, well, that's still pretty cool. Yeah, there's, there's, like, no wheels whatsoever, and it's just kind of hovering. Okay, so maybe it doesn't, maybe it doesn't actually fly. That would have been really cool if it, if it could, though. I mean, I can still press J and L to activate something, but I don't exactly know what that does. You can do some drifting here. You can do some drifting. 
Hey, how do you how do you boys like my new my new hovercraft right here? My new Audi Hover 8 and the new the new hovercraft from Audi right here. Uh okay, yeah, they're 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 swarming it, guys. They like it. They're they're checking it out. They think it's pretty cool. They think it is pretty cool. And why is the wheel still turning? I'm not even turning the car. Okay. The wheel seems to be kind of broken. Well, guess what? You boys can't have it. You boys can't have it. There you go. I just I just crushed them and now I'm probably going to get crushed. Yep. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I just completely broke the game. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you have, uh, when you have invincibility on. Actually, I am gonna disable it, because I want to see if I could somehow destroy this thing. Alright, let's go in and do some damage to this thing, if we, if we can. Try crashing into this right here. Okay. Yeah, that's what, that's one tiny piece. One tiny piece that broke off. I could just go into the bomb. Like, drive right into the bomb, but I'm not gonna do that. Just gonna hover. And crash right into you guys, and maybe try to crash into the tower. There we go. There's some pieces falling off. There we go. That's some good damage right there. Try, try, uh, destroying the, the bumper right here. Maybe. Okay, no, that, that doesn't work. Maybe destroy the wing. Hang on a second, maybe I can get some air time. Oh, look at that drifting. Oh, okay. Well, so much for the drifting. Alright, well, there we go. Now it's just gonna, it's just gonna fall apart now, because it's on fire. Well, so much for my new Audi Hover 8, guys. I just, just already wrecked it. Already wrecked it on the first day I bought it. That's just great. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave this video here. So, we reviewed some more creations in Besiege, and I also decided to show off the two new sandbox maps that they added in the newest update to Besiege. Although, for some reason, every time I try to record uh, videos of me playing on the new sandbox maps, the video goes off sync. I have no idea why, but... I, I don't know, I guess I guess there's there's something wrong with that map, or at least when I'm recording. Because when I'm not recording, the map runs just fine, but it's like when I try to record a video of it, it, it just it just completely wrecks the recording. I have no clue why. But yeah. Hopefully this this second attempt went a little bit better. I mean it probably still went a little bit off sync. But if it did, then I'm going to uh you know, try try and fix it as as best as I can. Just so that it's it's not all that noticeable, even though it might still be for some people. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video here, guys. So in the next parts, maybe we'll review some more Besiege creations. And maybe I could try doing this series a little bit more often and not wait for like a new update for the game to come out before playing it again. But we'll, we'll see. I can, I'm going to go and uh, browse the Steam Workshop and find some really cool creations. If there's anything really interesting that I find then I'll definitely review them. I'm not going to review them on the new uh, sandbox maps, though. I'll probably just review them on the old ones, because for some reason, can't record a video of the uh, new sandbox map without it going off sync, or the audio desyncing, so don't really know what's up with that. Anyway, if you guys want to purchase Besiege, links in the description. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like, and if you disliked it, feel free to give it a dislike. That is your opinion, after all, and I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later! You know, I don't think I tried putting a vehicle in this crusher yet. Let's, let's try doing it. Just just back into it and get destroyed. Or 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 not. And the 4x4 cannot be destroyed by crushers, apparently. But it can get stuck underneath them. So that makes that makes a whole lot of sense. Fine, if not my 4x4, then my hover my hover eight. Oh my goodness! Whoa! Okay, and then it gets and then it explodes as well. It hits a bomb. There we go. There we go. That's the destruction I was looking for. Just caused like millions of dollars in damages right there. Well, I mean, hopefully my, my Hover 8 has insurance. I hope to God it does.